I wanted to do a quick video today talking about the 6.0 Power Stroke Turbo. This is a VGT turbo or variable geometry turbo. Uh, some people call it a variable vein turbo. You can see it's got these veins here that open and close. Um, this one's in here for a quick rebuild today, but uh, we'll talk a little bit about how it works, some of the common issues, and uh, what you can do to fix those issues. So, a lot of times we'll get calls from customers that their truck isn't boosting um, well when the truck is cold. It's not boosting under low RPMs, uh, or it's not boosting, um, they're getting an under boost code, something like that. And so many times, um, the cause here is uh, because of these variable veins. So the way this works is it has this unison ring that can control these veins. The unison ring is controlled over here by this solenoid lever. So depending on where you are in the RPM range, the load placed on the engine, temperature, things like that, um, it will open and close these veins. So the way that works is, uh, this is the open position. The air is able to flow freely uh, from the up pipe and then obviously down the down pipe there. Um, but then when those veins are closed, the air is forced through the veins at a much quicker speed, similar to pinching off a garden hose. So that will result in increased back pressure, um, increased uh, shaft speed, and also increased boost. It's also the difference you hear sometimes when the truck has the uh, low rumble versus the uh, jet plane noise that a lot of people are familiar with. And so what happens many times is um, this unison ring here rides along here where all the soot and corrosion will build up. And so as that uh, soot builds up, it's much more difficult for this ring to turn. So sometimes after the turbo warms up, that ring can move freely. Um, and that's why it seems like the truck is only boosting um, you know, after it's warmed up, things like that. So all you have to do uh, to try to remedy a situation like this, as long as there's no underlying problem like uh, a solenoid failure or a leaking intercooler pipe, something like that. You can just take the turbo apart here. We've got this one split in half. It's pretty straightforward. There's just a, uh, the, uh, the clamp around the, the outer ring here. So once you get that opened up, you've got your, the unison ring here. That unison ring will come out. You can take it out, get it cleaned off, make sure that it's working properly. Um, you can clean over here and make sure all that corrosion um, and soot is off of there. Also these veins, you can see they all move independently. Those can come right off of there. And uh, you can see there's one of them. And so you can get the veins cleaned off and also where they ride here and make sure all that's nice and clean. Uh, once you do get it cleaned up, then usually that will cure a lot of those under boost problems, intermittent boost, uh, like I said, boost um, when the engine's warmed up, things like that. So uh, that's how it works. Hopefully this will keep people from uh, assuming that they need a new turbo, or their turbo needs to be rebuilt, etc. A lot of times the first step is just to open it up, give it a good clean.